What's up, Wasatch? Hey, I just want to jump on really quick and give you a recap of the chamber meeting where we got to hear from officials from Midway, Heber City, and Wasatch County about all of the things that are happening in our community. So I'll just go through them really quickly. I'll have a lot of images and more information that you can find in my stories and also at my website. So make sure that you check those out if you're interested in where all this information comes from. So starting with Midway, their main focus is open space and trails because that's what they have heard that the community is really into. They have 457 acres that they have allocated for open space that they are working on purchasing or have already purchased. A couple of developments they talked about was number one was South Hill, which is right there on the main area there in Midway, south of Memorial Hill, 27 acres, which will include 142 townhomes seven commercial buildings and eight acres of open space. So that area is definitely gonna change from what we're used to now. They also talked about Ameali, which is zoned for a resort. It's 28 acres, 62 acres, or, and 62 acres of open space. There will be 23 cottages and 80 that will be condo hotels. There's also gonna be um, a house of enlightenment there. There will be, a lot of those things will be open to the public. And the homestead is doing a $160 million renovation where they are adding a lot of great things, pools, um, a building to do host weddings and other events. And there will be some membership options available. We don't know exactly what that's gonna look like, but it will include the golf and the pool. Next up was Heber City. Uh, they talked a lot about the north area of town because that's where a lot of our developments are coming in. So the first one they talked about, the closest to town was New London, that includes the Smiths. That's also going to be very high density housing behind the Smiths and also to the north. They talked about um, that Heber City put in $1.6 million where Smiths put in $40 million and they expect that that's going to increase our tax revenue by $376,000 every year. So Smith is gonna be providing that back to the city. So it felt at the time like a good investment. Going further north is to Jordanel Ridge. Again, high density, um, also going to include an arts complex. Not sure exactly what that's going to look like, but it will be there. Then to the Highlands, which is the highest density, they're asking for 10% of affordable housing and that is by UVU. They talked about the annexation of where MTech is going to be on Main Street there in the North Fields across from Southfield Park. Also Harvest Village annexation, which they're talking about, which is kind of southwest of the River Road and the Highway 40 intersection. They are saying that they do not want to do a water park anymore, even though that was approved before, and maybe they want to do a little less density on the housing. Uh, they also talked a lot about downtown from 200 south to the city offices. They want that to be called downtown alley. They're going to have some pedestrian alleys for people be able to be able to walk. They want to be able to close 200 south for events and to make it a well, warm and welcoming place. Their focus is very much on the downtown corridor and trying to make that a better place. The last person to speak was Wasatch County. 65% uh, of our county is zoned P160, which is requiring 160 acres, which is showing us that even though we feel like we're growing so much and getting so dense, it's really just in a very small pocket of the entire county. They do expect our population to be 60,000 people here in Heber Valley or in Wasatch County by 2024. The major developments in Jordan L that we keep seeing going up, they said that there is no more water. So all of that water that they have allocated is now been claimed. Those were starting since 1997. So the developments that we see in Jordan L, that is what the developments will be. And a couple of developments that they talked about was the Sky Ridge Mountain, and that is on the north side of Jordan L. This one's kind of cool, you guys, but it is going to be 678 acres. It's going to have 503 single family homes. 385 acres of open space, but it will include a public golf course. And the way it is designed right now is kind of going to have like a top golf fill as well in their clubhouse. So that might be kind of a nice welcome thing here in our county. Also talked about Deer Cove by Deer Valley, 82 acres, 1100 residences. So that's obviously very dense. Two luxury hotels and over 100,000 um, in retail and restaurant space. So it's going to be very dense, kind of the downtown feel. I'll have a lot of those pictures for you. If you have any questions about this or anything in the video or anything else you want me to find out, I'd love to do it. Have a good day.